Hi there! This is Al from GamingGeek.net and I've got another performance test for you guys. Uh, this time it's going to be uh, for the AYN Odin Pro. I'm going to take a look at another GameCube game. One of my all-time favorite survival horror games, Resident Evil 4. Now, Resident Evil 4 has been available in a lot of different consoles. There's a Wii version, there's a PlayStation 2 version. There's even a version on the Nintendo Switch, but uh, I always go back to the original release uh, where it was really intended to be. And there is some static uh, on in the audio. Let me just adjust my visuals if I can uh, give this uh, better justice. One second. I'm not sure how I'm gonna make it uh, look better. Oops, it's going into. Oop. <laughs> I am still not used to select and start being here at the bottom right. So, uh, forgive me for forgetting that this 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 little button right here isn't the start button. That's the home button. So, AYN, I question your. Um, your uh, design choices but regardless let's jump right in i think it's going to be easy for someone to get used to it uh, if this is the only device that you own but i own a lot of different devices and so um, i don't get used to any single one right I get used to the common uh, traits of uh, the devices, so this placement of the start, the select start, is very uncommon. So what am I doing here? Uh, we've been detecting some uh, audio stutters, so I'm gonna set this instead of uh, standard. We're gonna go performance. Something that I've been missing in my uh, GameCube tests, right? So pardon uh, me for that. I'm gonna turn uh, Rumble off just because. I don't want uh, any other impact uh, on performance. Brightness adjust, maybe make it a little brighter. Let's see. All right, and then maybe I'll make uh, my uh, camera brighter here. Odd audio aesthetic, right? I'm also, oh my goodness, uh, you can't stand the uh, smudges. Well, I'll go silent. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arclay Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the International Pharmaceutical Enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain let me just check how I can um, see more the audio the audio static is really really bothering me I can't find any so Alright, so let's have this play play out before I start talking about the game. I received special training from a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Courtney, why am I the one who
let's see if uh, there's anything in the settings that we can change uh, well let's put show FPS uh, there uh, display skills already 100 let's do emulated the uh, CPU clock speed let's try increasing that to 200% You know, that's close enough. Sync on skip idle. Uh, these are the only things. Uh, yeah, let's go see how it how it changes. Oh, yeah. That's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. Right. All by yourself. <laughs> I'm really getting bothered by the uh, static, so let's. Let's do high performance. I think that fixed it. Man, the, the, the just these touchscreen devices, like oh my goodness! Not a complaint. It's just now my screen is all smudgy. Okay, so we're about to start. Honeygun. Alright, let's skip the, the dialogue. Alright, so now we're in the game. And uh, I'm going to talk about this as, you know, as you play along. So let me just check uh, if my video's all good. Alright. Uh, let's do, uh, alright, so that's, okay, reloading is B, I guess, alright, so this was my first, I consider this as my first Resident Evil game, so, uh, I was able to play the first Resident Evil, but I didn't own a Sony PlayStation, I was just playing, uh, the game, uh, at a friend's house so I didn't really get to immerse myself uh, in any Resident Evil games um, and when we bought this for the GameCube I had no idea what I was in for I, I was actually expecting something to be similar to the first three Resident Evil games wherein uh, you were fighting zombies so when I got this I put this in the GameCube uh, in my GameCube I was like surprised uh, what's going on why am I in some uh, remote European country right and 
This is not the Resident Evil that I knew. Uh, but man, it's uh, pretty good. It was pretty good. Oh, shoot. Really, nothing inside? I shouldn't have go gone for it. Alright. So, here we have Leon Kennedy. Out. He's uh, n no longer a rookie police officer. He's a special agent. And he's sent off in this secret mission to uh, rescue the president's daughter. I'm gonna pause the game because I'm just gonna I uh, just the uh, lighting a little bit. I just want to make sure that you guys can see. That's it. All right. Excuse me, sir. I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. That's Ashley. Sorry to bother. All right, so of course that gives us freeze. Is it freeze? Oh no. Crud, I forgot uh, the controls. I think it's A. B reload. Oh, we got him with one shot. I wasted a bullet. So let's hold position. I'm just trying to check where they're gonna come from. Are they gonna enter from the windows or they're gonna come in from the front door? I want to take the offensive. You're not coming in. Alright, let's get some items here. Damn it, there's no items there. Just skulls. Alright. Draw them inside. That's gonna make for a boring episode, isn't it? Just one last peek. Don't you guys know how to open doors? Oh crud. Alright, alright. They got me locked in. So they're not entering. Fine, fine. Let's get some more ammo. I'm gonna make a jump. Alright. So where are they? Oh no. I need to get used to that soon. Oh no. Ah. Shoot. Oh no. Look at that the guy dodge. Oh no. Alright, so well since we're not playing for real. 
Man, I need to get used to the controls fast. Alright, yeah, see, look at that. Pretty intense just from the few moments. And, um, so let me talk about this game some more. Um, it's, it's like they rebooted the Resident Evil franchise without rebooting it, right? They, they, they made an attempt to relaunch it because now you're no longer fighting zombies. There's a different type of biohazard that we're fighting. And at least at the start, it doesn't look like it's Umbrella, right? It's a totally different game. You don't have the tank controls anymore. And um, while uh, this is, this has a lot of action uh, to it, uh, for some reason, it still manages to uh, be scary, right? Because of how the... Uh, enemy AI uh, behaves because of how oh, is there anything here now and because of uh, how you're limited right so you can shoot you can fight but you can't move when you're trying to attack you see they can't move right it's just aim so I have to choose between moving and shooting so I think uh, that uh, keeps this scary despite us being you know um more than capable of defending ourselves handgun ammo i know this also gets rid of the uh ribbon right i think you can just keep saving exit what it does is it counts how many times you've saved so you can use that as a like, like an achievement of some sort beat the number of times that you've saved all right so let's see if we can get to the village in this episode i wanted to shoot this up until we survived the village so maybe let's do that right let's see if i can survive the, the village oh of course we're gonna help Spoiler alert, that uh, little dog's gonna help us out later on. So make sure you save that uh, little mutt. Alright, stupid me. Oh, darn it. Where were we supposed to be going? Is this here? Come on. Pueblo. Let's see. Let's just make sure I'm going the right way. We just came from there. We're headed there. All right. Uh, how do we back out? Right. So there were a lot of stutters, audio stutters uh, in the uh, opening scene. Oh, look at this. How cute. Traps. Now, do I really have to? I mean, let's just... What? Alright. So, so there's an abundance of ammo here, or it looks like there is, but if you don't conserve your ammunition, you're gonna get screwed. It doesn't, it's not like uh, in the traditional Resident Evil games wherein you're really limited, but you also shouldn't be wasteful because when you run out of ammo, you're gonna, they're gonna eat you alive. Alright. I used to replay this area over and over because I wanted to get my, um, I wanted to get it perfect, you know, 
like get through this area with as little use of uh, items as possible. Try to conserve as many as I could. Yes. Can we uh, mix? All right. Oh crud. It is super creepy how like Ah Oh man. Like it's super creepy how they just, you know. Um how many how much ammo do I have? I wonder why I'm bothering to cons cons conserve my ammo. I'm, I'm, all right, anyway. How how there's total silence and then they they yell at you like that. All right, where how, how are they gonna attack me? Where are they gonna walk? They're gonna walk across the bridge. Where are they? Is there a shortcut? I don't know. I, mean, I don't want to get. I don't think there's a, another way. All right, maybe they're just gonna warn their their village. I don't know. Oh shoot! There's no strafing here too. Is is it there? I can't strafe. Ah, all right. So even though this is, oh no. Where are they? There's someone here. He's gonna. Not being able to strafe is hard. I know you're there. Saw you. So intense. Whew. I mean, even I played this game before, you know, a long time ago. I've beaten it several times. And it still gets to me. Yeah, I've even done a new game plus of this. And uh, when you already have a lot of uh, guns and tried to take out the people at the village with a sniper rifle okay yeah let's skip that playing manual 2 reloading kicks all right changing inventory screens all right no strafing so even though this was a step closer to normal gaming, normal. C stick. Oh, look at that. One of the police guys that we, uh, that accompanied us to this place. Yeah. Let's sneak up. Oh man, I'm just getting chills just being here. All right. Are you ready for a battle?
Don't get cornered. Let's see if there are people chasing after me. Might be someone sneaking up from behind already. Oh man, so tense. Look behind. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh man. Oh, not good. Not good. Uh. Where are they? Shoot. Look how fast they run. I hope nobody's sneaking up behind me. Hurry up and move. Oh no. Right behind him. The right time for a, an herb. Damn, so tense. Oh no, look at that. Ah, better run. Standing. Standing there. Oh, he's running away. Look at that. Where is he going? Oh, no. Hurry up, man. When it's green, it's green herb, so am I supposed to be here? Gold chicken egg. I'm trapped. Oh no. Don't tell me it's the chainsaw guy. Am I ready to face the chainsaw guy? Lord Sadler. Lord Sadler, yep.
They're going there. Whew, we survived. All right. Where's everyone going? Bingo? There you go. What an intro, right? Yeah, I don't care about you. So let's just clean up here. Let's take a look at, uh, oh, look at this, man. Let's just. So. Very tense. I think it's time for me to, just to be safe. Let's use up a her an herb. And then let's take a look at, oh man, look at how, how much uh, ammo I wasted, right? Alright, so there is, uh... Alright, pretty much. Uh, Alright. So let's just take a look at the... The village here, uh, see how good this looks. We'll see if I left a couple of items. There's one. Alright, so you, you collect these treasures because um, you're going to have to sell them to the merchant. Or wait, no. Um, you collect these treasures so that you can buy from the merchant. Like upgrades, uh, weapons, ammo, you name it. Alright. Alright. Uh, performing pretty well. All right. Yeah. So when um when I first played this game, I was like to in a hurry. Is that combined with the red herb, mixed herbs? All right. I didn't uh, even, you know, bother going through the village and I missed out on a lot of items. Uh, like that one, the red herb. See, look at this. So if you take your time, you find a lot of things, like ammunition. Oh, thank goodness I didn't trigger the chainsaw guy. Man, the chainsaw guys. I don't know, I mean, should I be happy because we missed uh, him for this episode? But at the same time, I wouldn't want to fight him, right? Probably would have lost. Alert order, there you go. So they are... Um, they are smart, right? They, they, they can communicate. They can uh, follow orders. All right, we're not supposed to go here yet. Oh, what the? Oh yeah, we we are supposed to go there. Sorry. Um. Okay. So yeah, let's wrap this uh up here. The, there's the blue thingy there. I think this is like a, a secret. Uh, when you hit these uh, later on, you're gonna unlock something. They're one out of 15, so. So, one. What's that? Is it worth? Oh no. At least they don't, you know, do surprise attacks, right? What the hell? Did you hear that groan? What's that? Bad. 
You guys better give me some ammo. All right, there you go. I'm starting to really get creeped out. So we'll wrap it up here. Resident Evil 4 playable performance on the A. Oh, I, I have it off camera. Yeah, Resident Evil 4 quite playable on the AYN Odin Pro, although there are some uh, issues like this static that doesn't seem to get away, go away. Is there anyone? Right, but you know, it's uh, playable, right? It's a decent frame rate, decent um, game speed, so yeah. A good game to revisit uh, this Halloween. Hope you enjoy. Oh, almost missed this. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Once again, this is Al from GamingGeek.net. Talk to you in the next video.